Gathering accurate population estimates in Montana's diverse landscape can be a challenge in densely wooded regions. However, Montana FWP has devised an innovative strategy to tackle this issue. All it takes are cameras, collars, and a hefty dose of patience. <laughs> That's the fun of cameras is uh, yeah, you never know what you never know what's gonna what it's gonna be like till you're in it. It's springtime in Montana, where the lush green landscape provides the perfect backdrop for Montana FWP's team of biologists and technicians to estimate the wildlife population. Using geographic information systems, the team deploys cameras in random areas to gain valuable insights into the population trends of these species. It's a good demonstration of why we can't fly aerial surveys and count deer. You couldn't see anything in here. I grew up in an area a lot like this. It, we don't have the tallest mountains in the state, but they are sure the steepest and the thickest. Because of the thickly forested area in Region 1, Montana FWP has traditionally relied on harvest numbers to estimate the deer population. However, Montana FWP is applying a new strategy this year. Using advanced technology with cameras and GPS collaring data to understand movement patterns, which will provide a better understanding of population estimates. The first step in this project though, is to collar deer. But with abundant opportunities for wildlife to roam freely, luring a curious deer has its challenges. So our first trap of the day is empty. Um, doesn't look like we had any visitors overnight, but We'll keep it set, maybe put a little fresh hay on it, and uh, we'll see it tomorrow. <laughs> That's a trap ready to rock. I grew up hunting and fishing and recreating, and I really care about the work we do out here, you know, to, to pass that legacy along and to answer all the questions that the sportsmen, you know, ask of us on a daily basis. One of those questions Montana FWP is tasked with answering what does the deer population look like in my region? Now that we have a deer in hand, she's physically restrained, we're gonna be fitting her with a collar um, that'll be able to send us movement and spatial data. Basically, it's a GPS unit that can talk to the Iridium satellite network. From this deer, we're gonna get eight locations a day, once every three hours, basically. Six months ago, we were completely focused on putting out um, capturing deer and elk for GPS collaring. Um, those animals are super important for us to better understand habitat use um, by deer and elk in this part of the state and to um, help us inform whether we can place our cameras more conveniently without coming up with a biased abundance estimate. Biologists and technicians from Montana FWP will install a camera during this phase to cover a 10 to 30 meter area set on a 10 minute time lapse, taking thousands of snapshots. The number of animals cumulatively observed in the area of 100 plus cameras will allow biologists to estimate the animal density in this particular region. We also want to put these cameras out randomly because some places don't have deer and elk and we want to make sure that that is represented by our trail camera survey, like the, the survey method. Montana FWP will revisit this site in six months. The photos will be analyzed using artificial intelligence to sort through the photos of animals and the thousand snapshots taken throughout the season. Overall, the study requires a significant amount of groundwork to begin. I would say like most things in life, attitude is everything. Just show up to work with a good attitude and ready to hike and the rest will fall into place. As time unfolds, FWP will amass sufficient intelligence regarding population estimates that can be applied to future management of wildlife.